All right, let's try this again, shall we? My God, I hate it when this happens. <sighs> Somebody, please help me. Right, let's try this. Now, let's Father, just make sure. Take the Lord. Okay, come on. Thank Prudence, you. Are you all right? What are Father, you doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness. The baby's coming! We need to get you to Dr. No, White. No! I can't move! Take my horse! Bring him here! Go! Okay, run the clock. Nice and easy if you're swift and stick to the roads. i uh, say that and I'll run to every tree possible. <laughs> oh dear. So that's what's supposed to happen. Not a long loading screen, just nice and quick or relatively short. So that was just when the game just froze. So that was really... And that gets so annoying when that happens. Uh, am I in the... No, here it is. I thought I'd taken the wrong Dr. Turn White, off. come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. We need to get water. Now? Yes! Okay, take a sharp left. Warren, are you here? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. We must hurry! Yep, we're almost there, don't worry. Plenty of time left. Hello, Doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she alright, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got a point there. <laughs> not the best place. They yes. may do. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Nice name. It's suit. I mean, it suits the couple in the area as well. I mean, okay. Good. Those. Sort themselves out. Okay, we'll finally send these. So, if it doesn't work the first time, don't worry. It will either work on the second, first, second, or third attempt. That 80%, it will still succeed. It just needs to get the ball rolling. So, ah. Now, do you see what I'm talking about? It's random as to how, as to whether or not they have axes or guns. Not all of them do. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there you go. Last, uh, you might remember last time she had a, an a hand axe and a gun. Now she's got a hidden blade. Or a blade. So, it, it alternates, believe it or not. Kind of ironic. So, yeah. That's just show you how completely random it is. No conf Oh, there is a conversation. <coughs> uh, let's just see what this is. I'll go and do the conversation shortly. I'll just start this mission.
Hey Lance. Tools of the trade. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them? What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. So a mission for Boston, a mission for New York. Okay. <coughs> do the conversation. Keep going doing that. Of course, if you need them, there's no horses around, of course. Chat Warren and Prudence. Probably about their newborn. Watch out, everyone. Coming through. Screw it, I'll get off here because it's much quicker. Smoke, Connor? No, thank you. We were just recalling the eventful day of Little Hunter's birth. I am not sure I have ever been so anxious. Ha! <laughs> I barely remember a thing up until the moment I heard him cry. Then it all slows down, and I recall every little detail. From Hunter's wailing face, to Prudence's teary eyes filled with pure love. To the smell of the mud and the leaves. I've never been as happy as I was in that instant. Ah, uh, things in this house sound right. Hmm. Oh, nice. I've heard that's the case quite often with childbirth. It's that, you know... Parents feeling so incredibly happy, it's the most amazing moment in their lives when see they see the newborn. So, I, I've heard that anyway, quite often. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Because I'm machine completed successfully, good. Sometimes it fails. That That's not what I meant to do at all. Excuse me. Once they get past recruit, they'll be okay. It's just those first few steps. That's where it's a bit. It 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 will work eventually. It just might take a little time. Now I don't know where the hell his shop is, which doesn't help a lot. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. Hmm. Probably wrong. Nope, that was miserably failed, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Felt that completely well, didn't I? Oh god. Alright, let's get to the at well, near the actual location. Oh dear.
this uh, of course. Nope, nope. You too, Lance. How are you? Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. <laughs> How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Really? How do you mean? You know, you make a plan, and it all goes awry, and nothing gets better, only slightly different. <laughs> Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? The owner, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town. What's it to you? I am the owner. <laughs> Not anymore, mate. Sorry. Better sort things out with your apprentice. He's over at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. All right, let's get a move on. Ah, screw it, we'll run over there. Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. What rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stashed somewhere! Yeah, sounds then about right. Follow him. Oh, now, I've got to warn you about something with this mission. Um, don't start peeking around too many corners too quickly because. Lance doesn't know the first thing about sneaking around. <laughs> he will be very obvious. Not that it's his fault. He doesn't know how to be stealthy, so you've got to be a little careful with him. He'll turn around, I'm sure, soon. Yep. Oh god, he's gonna be an arsehole. Oh no. No? Okay. Whoa, take it easy, Lance. Take it easy. Don't be obvious, don't be obvious, Lance, my god, see what I mean? For the he just goes wherever he thinks he's going. Call upon John Cooper for seven generations. Cooper's the name you can trust. Okay, that complete mission must have been completed. Good. I'll load these in the cart come nightfall and be in New York, free of this rubbish for good before the month is out. Mm. 
Okay. I head over there. And we loot the merchandise. Well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. Well, at least you have, at least you have another place up and running. Ah, yes, so that unlocks naval convoys. I completely forgot about that, actually. You can't get them straight away or and automatically. It doesn't work like that. You've got to unlock them, so... I oh, did not mean to do that at all. Oh, did it fail? Okay, never mind. <coughs> that did no, that's not what I meant to do at all. Alright. Let's head to New York and do this mission. Let's go here. Not hundred percent sure where it is. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, it's labelled. Okay, that actually helps. Oops. Might be a horse. Eh, ah, there you are. Cut the time down considerably. up here. Get out the way! Yeah, they seem oh, no, not you. Badly drunk, quite possibly. No, nope. it's very, very arrogant. Right side. There we are. Doesn't even care. I probably doesn't even know how valuable they are, to be honest. Right, let's head back to the homestead. I think there might be at least one more mission available, that kind.
I found your bolts. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No, no, no. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. You're welcome. Level two. So when I first recorded this part, I'll go and upgrade um, and craft some of the more missions. Oh, okay, right. There's recruits available. Good. Let's try this mission again. It look it will work. It's just a matter of. Well, actually, there's other ways you can do it, but if that doesn't work, there's another more obvious way you can do things, so <laughs> either way, it does work eventually, so. What's this one? Oh! Connor! Connor! Final straw. Sir, Ellen's dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it. We got your back, right behind you. Be gone with you. Get out here! I've had enough of it. Be gone with you. Yeah, get out here. I'll gut you. I'm sick of waiting. If you come near her, I'll tear you apart. Ha. <laughs> Easy done. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Says and damn right. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. Yep. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. Awesome. Level 3 crafting available. <laughs> hey, kids. Uh, but a snowball fight, aren't they? <laughs> Any conversations? Nope. Let's do this one. Actually, let's get the horse. Come on, yours. Which I think makes it about time for a certain mission to be coming up. We'll soon see. Like you to help me. 
Ah, the wedding. <laughs> my friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! Congratulations. <laughs> I told you not to touch him, Norris. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father would. I would be honored. We certainly Wonderful. would be. On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. It is. We'll start here. Oh, this. I remember this. Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. Alright, for this, you need to go upstairs. You don't go outside, you go upstairs. And analyze the clues. Okay, down here. I believe. We weren't asking you, mate. <laughs> Oops, the daisies. Wait, come on. Really? Thank you. Leave me be. Nope. We want to talk. Why do you run? Leave me be. I'm no housewife. No one's asking. Nobody you to be thinks one. you are one. Not necessarily. She did look beautiful in that dress though. You gotta admit. bit cold for that thing, but never mind, at least they're inside now.
I need an Achilles. You may kiss your bride. Well, I'm happy for them. Well done. And congratulations to them. Okay, now there's actually something else you need to do in here that will trigger. Don't, don't think it matters who you walk over to. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. <laughs> now to trigger another cutscene, you need to talk to this group here. <laughs> and my little brother Joseph tossed him in the river! <laughs> <laughs> We were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousins sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor oh. boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Thought him good things don't come easy. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Thank you. The traditional folding method, I believe, for flags. Hold on, Connor. Good on you. Now I'll begin. I wonder if that means he'll give better moral guards or will he give upgraded moral guards? I've never quite figured that part out. <laughs> Not that it really matters to be honest. Okay, <laughs> oh, plenty more missions. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we'll do this one. I think we have to travel for that one, so... That started. Ah, yes. The Great Eagle. Anna Mysteries. It is beautiful, old man. 
It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantel. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Certainly. Of course. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay in the path of the Great Fire. If so, were it not? Don't worry. The uh, memento is retrievable, so... It wasn't burnt with the fire, so don't worry about that. Oh, that's right with those. Good. This, the sooner you upgrade, like fully upgrade the homestead is, the more you can upgrade and the more things you can purchase and all that sort of stuff, so... The sooner you you do all these upgrades, do all these homestead missions, um, the better it will be for you in the long run in terms of crafting, upgrading, all that sort of stuff, so... More, more stuff comes available to you, so... Ah, uh ha! -huh. I remember this one well. I for trouble. Connor! What is happening? Found this guy skulking around the inn. I pressed him, and it turns out he's looking for a deserter. Goes by the name of Big Dave. Says he's alone. Isn't that right? I am! I'm alone! I swear it! What are we saying about being alone? Bloody hell. Another one, Connor. If he gets back to his officers, I'm done for. Don't worry, we're on to it. We're on the case. God damn it, you stupid. Ah! God damn it, you stupid. I'm trying to jump onto him. It's, it is possible. Ah! I hate it when that happens. Because you can actually run and jump onto the horse, but oh no. Another one, Connor. If he gets back to his officers, I'm done for. It's alright, we're on the case. Now we can run and jump on him. I don't know why I didn't work the first bloody time. Thank you! Oh, come on! Don't give me this crap about reflex shot. There we go. Let's loot him for cartridges, hopefully. Nice. Full, that's alright, cartridges full, perfect. Did that fail? Damn it! Alright, fine, we'll do this a different way. No, so the other way you can do this is... Provided I can find one. Nope. These vision signs have... Oh, god damn it, I hate it when that happens. Um... God. No. Ah, uh, great. Forty... This actually does work. It just takes a few attempts. Otherwise, the other way you can do it is by going to one of the others that has a two-star. <coughs> and put... Like, if you've already upgraded them to... Captain, Major... Anything from basically captain to assassin, you can go on to one of the two star 
and you should be able to use one of the majors, recruit who's, recruit who's become a major and two recruits, and the mission should still work anyway, so... I'm just doing it because that's just the old habits I've got with it, so... It does actually work, it just takes a few attempts. Otherwise you can just do what I've just suggested. Either way works. Just be up to how you feel and what you want to do. Let me guess, he's escaped. Of course he has. Where is he? Coward kicked me in the gingham of Bob's oh. and through sand in Dave's eyes. But he's long gone now. Not good, Connor. No. We can expect visitors soon. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, at least after that. more consumables. Ah, black powder. Oh, we've got talking points. Okay. We'll do those. Now, I believe that's a uh, mission for Dr. Lyle, if I recall correctly. We'll do that. Oh! Ladies are having a chin wag, are they? A uh, chat, by the way, because you didn't know the dialect. <laughs> the slang, I should say. Oh, not a day goes by that one of the boys doesn't hurt himself. I'll get some rest with the doctor around, sending the boys his way. I know what you mean. Maria is all over the property like a mad girl. Norris found her in his mine yesterday with a great big gash in her knee. That girl, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> it sounds like you all have your hands full. Well, you could say that. Having the doctor here is great for all of us, Connor. Thank you for finding him and bringing him here. He came here because of you. I only brought him the offer. <laughs> Be modest. But he's right, I mean, he didn't have to come to the homestead. We gave him the offer. Mind you, it's either that or get slandered and beaten up and threatened all the time, so... <laughs> Take your pick, I guess. <laughs> Connor! Might I have a word? Of course. Slander! What do you think of our little plot of land, Doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. He baffled me for a time, but then a courier delivered this to me. Before you found me, the British had demanded I not treat patriots nor their supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. Sounds about this right. This me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. Well, that'd be a shame. We need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. Yeah. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. He works out of Boston. Okay, yeah, thanks for the intel. All right. <coughs> On that note, we're going to take a break here. Uh, next time, we will be doing some more homestead missions. And if we have time, we will be doing the Boston Brawlers side quests. So, I'll see you next time for more AC3 Remastered.